Hi, this is Dell from MD Indie Reviews, and today my video is my return back to physical media and why. Dell from MD Indie Review. Um, before watching this video, please take the time to like and subscribe. I take my time in um, making these videos, so please just take the time to uh, like it. It would greatly help my channel, and I appreciate it. Thank you. How you guys doing today? Real quick, share some of my favorite uh, physical medias. Scare Movie 2 was one I watched when I was uh, young. I think it was at middle school, high school. Um, we all know about this right here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's the collection. We all know about this right here. 20, 25 years is because of this movie right here. The Matrix. This was one that was uh, um, in my younger adult life. Yeah. This probably helps uh, set off the Marvel um, franchise um, as they were, as they were kind of like reamping for the new age. What what we see now, this these movies really set it off. Last but not least. Oh yeah. So, before I got into um, my return to physical media and why I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite movies, um, I actually had an opportunity last weekend. Um, I, we've had um, Kill Bill for since the beginning of my marriage. But I never was really quite into Kill Bill or never really quite understood um, why um, it, all the hype was surrounded about it. Um, so I actually had the opportunity to watch both Volume 1 and 2 last weekend, and I was like, oh my goodness. That's, that's arguably one of my favorite movies. I probably put it in my top seven. And I was like, wow, this movie was incredible. So about myself and my, my return back to physical media, last year, me and my wife, we were kind of going through our finances, and we kind of realized that we were paying like close to like 70-something bucks a month in different streaming platforms. And then we also realized, well, we don't really watch – we don't really, we only watch TV – as um, far as movies wise or TV shows really on the weekend because during the week we're kind of busy with the kids and school and um, I, I work a lot usually about two to three times a week I, I work about 14 to 16 hours and the other two I, I just do eight but I say all that to say that our time really wasn't lending us a, a lot of time to watch movies or engage in TV shows it's not our life's just too busy for that so we realized why are we paying all all this um, money and these streaming platforms they won't even really watch and two um, one of the things that we that turned us off is that we're coming into an era where companies want to maintain your attention, and by attention I mean you know both your attention and your wallet forever. That's why you have different platforms that that will offer you um, cloud services for for your memory memory on your phone. And I also did a video about that how you can have your own um, um, your own home cloud service. I'll link that in the description up above. And then I also did a video about um, physical media, you know, how cheap it is. You can go on Facebook Marketplace, um, offer up, and I was finding like hundreds of DVDs for like 25, 30 bucks. People just get getting rid of them. Um, matter of fact, last night, my, my wife's aunt moved. She's moving, in the process of moving, and she gave us a bunch of DVDs, like a bunch of DVDs. And what me and my wife do is we'll go through the ones that we, that we want and we like, and the ones that we don't, we either give away or, or we'll sell on eBay. So it's kind of like kind of been our journey um, and, and why. And one of the things that I'll say is that another aspect of why um, we kind of made the shift to physical media is I remember one day me and my wife were watching a movie. I can't remember if it was on as far as um, cable or if it was on a streaming platform. And um, one of the movies that we were watching uh, specifically, I was used, to, I was I had watched the movie a lot when I was growing up. So I'm like, this movie seems like all the scenes are not really in the movie. And um, as I watched the movie, and then later on, I think we ended up watching the DVD because I wanted to see, was it true? A lot of the scenes had been cut out of movies, and I, I believe, if, if I'm not mistaken, because a lot, of the, a lot of the content from when the movie was first made wasn't really considered offensive back then. But now, 
everything's offensive. Everybody's woke. Everybody's offended by this. Everybody's offended by that. Like me and my uh, me and my coworker, we were talking about we were having a conversation last night about Scary Movie Two, and I was like, man, if that movie was to be created now, they would the whole cast, the directors and actors would, would get canceled because while back then it was considered humor and it's funny, and to me it's still humor and funny. A lot of the things that are that are in movies or were made. In not in um nineties or two thousand early two thousands, people just the, the the current culture just couldn't take that. They're so sensitive nowadays. People would be offended. They would try to cancel the studio or cancel the actors or cancel the the, the director. Just like you know, that's kind of one of the, one of the, one of the reasons why I wanted to kind of make my shift back to um, physical media is because every other month, every other every other year, streaming platforms are constantly recycling different movies. And you'll see one one year they'll take movies on and they'll put another movie um 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 they'll take a movie off and put a movie back on. So one of the things that I really begin to realize is that after a while, a lot of these great classic movies that we both enjoy and like, even if you can find them, um, they may not even be up to standard of what what we watched back then as it relates to some of the movie scenes and things being things being cut out of the movie. And two. If you will be able to find them, like some of um, me and my wife, before we got into physical media, if we wanted to watch a movie, we would just go to um, we would rent a movie off YouTube. I think they do about twenty four or uh, forty eight hours, if I'm not mistaken, or Amazon Prime. You can rent movies on there as well, or you can go online and just rent movies. Uh, or Google also has a Google Movies. You can rent movies from there as well. But some movies we realized that we we couldn't find. No matter what we do, we couldn't find certain movies. And maybe, you know, someone in the comment can say, well, you know, you guys probably didn't use a certain platform or use this or use that. But one of the things that I did realize is that companies are trying to make us pay for movies that may be here today and gone tomorrow. And also, too, you realize, too, with physical media is that you don't actually, I'm sorry, if it's not physical media, you actually don't own the content. So basically, you're paying However much money you're paying for these streaming platforms, you're paying this for two months, two years, 10 years, 20 years, whatever, but you're paying to rent a movie and you're paying to, so you're never owning anything that you watch. You're never owning anything that that you obtain or as far as through these streaming services. And so I was like, you know what? Not really cool with that because one of the, one of the things that ha- has been incredible for me and my family is that since we got back into physical media at my home, every Friday night, we have movie night. Me and my family, I, we have a um, we have a upstairs room. It's a homeschool slash theater room where we ha- I have a, a hundred and twenty inch projector screen manual. You know, I pull it down and uh, we watch DVDs. And, and my kids um, are eleven, four, and three. All my kids are now for me with the um, DVDs and blu rays and how to put them in and how to um, how to handle them with care. And I was like, to my wife, what kids nowadays their age you know about DVDs? You know, and it's funny because when we when we when we begin to introduce them back to my my younger kids, they're like, "What what, what is this?" I was like, "It's a movie." And it was like, "We well, can just click on the app." You're like, "No, no, we're gonna we, we don't have that anymore. We actually have to go and put the DVD in the in the DVD player or the Blu-ray in the, in the Blu-ray player, and we have to actually you know watch watch the uh, different trailers that that were uh, popular back in those times, and it just brought back so many great memories." You know, and then sometimes we, we we all fall asleep watching the movie, and you guys all know who familiar with DVDs or Blu-rays. When you um when the movie goes off, it goes back to the title screen, and it just keeps playing a little short trailer over and over and over and over, and you you, you wake up to that in the middle of the night. But to me, it brought back so many memories when I was a kid, and I was like, oh my, well, I was I was I was I was a young adult, but. It brought back so many memories when I used to watch movies in the middle of the night, and you fall asleep, and you wake up, and it's just doo, 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 just playing over and over and over again, like over the um over the Christmas break. I had opportunity to watch all the Resident Evil movies movies again, and I was like, I think during two of the movies I fell asleep, and you wake up, you know, just to, to again to the title screen. It's like it brought back so many incredible memories when I was in high school. I'm like, wow, you know, just just things you don't get um, if you're watching streaming services because I know um, sometimes if, if you watch um, a movie on Amazon or uh, I'm sorry, yeah, sorry or Netflix, it'll um, it'll cut off, you know, when it's over. And I know with Netflix, you could actually set it so that it would just keep playing the next um, TV show if it was a TV show. But my point in saying all that is, is that it just brought back so many great memories. And because physical media is not really popular anymore or, well, it's popular 
I'm saying it's not popular in a sense as a mainstream as far as like the masses. Like um, I was actually looking up DVD sales and um, you know, many of you guys who are actually into physical media, you actually know that Best Buy, I can't remember if it was the beginning of this year or the latter part of last year, but they actually stopped selling DVDs because it's not, it's not really profitable, you know. Yes, people in the um, who are in the physical media realm will say that it's profitable, but in a sense that companies are making hundreds of millions of dollars a year off of streaming services, DVDs ain't nowhere in, in in that range. Now, I did look up, at the time, I did look up the physical media sales uh, for companies, and, and don't get me wrong, I think it's, it was about three to five million dollars a year, so that is good. That's it's, there's, there's still a market for it, but it's small, you know. If a, if, if Netflix can make three hundred million dollars a year for the sake of argument from having a streaming platform and having a subscriber base, why would they why would they sell DVDs for for three three, three to five million dollars a year? It's, it's, it's not worth it, you know. It's not worth the effort printing DVDs and trying to sell them, put them in stores and retail, and blah blah blah. And it's like it's not money wise. It's not worth it to companies anymore, but think for people who want to get into it I think you're actually getting you actually would be getting into it at a right time because like I said um on my Facebook market video where, where I, I kind of go over buying and selling on Facebook marketplace um and I'll leave that link to that description up above um as well you can click on that card and watch it but one of the things I talked about was that um I, I showed um listings on Facebook marketplace and um offer up a uh, people selling DVDs like 25 bucks, 20 DVDs, or um, 80 DVDs for like 10 bucks, and I do that often, every every so often, about once a month, I'll go on Marketplace, and I actually have a guy who's into estate sales, estate sales. He has a connect who only sells him DVDs from estate sales, and he lists them online, and I, I've been I've, I've been his main um, buyer, and he'll list like 80 DVDs for like 10, 15 bucks, or 20 DVDs for like 25, 29 bucks, and I'll just go over there and get boxes of DVDs and pick through them and whatever I want. I, I want me, and my wife, and my kids, and whatever we don't want, I'll give away, and then the rest I'll just sell on eBay. So for me, and for people like yourself, if you want to get into physical media, it's actually a great time to get into it. It's a great time. You can actually go on eBay right now, and you can buy DVDs, just the disc, like 100 for like 13 bucks, uh, 25 bucks for like 100. But do realize that when you do that, like what I do, you're you're buying DVDs randomly and you're picking them out to what you want, want to keep, what you want to get rid of. So it's not like you're gonna just be able to pick. Oh, I want this movie. No, because if I, I do that as well, but when you do that, you're paying a higher price because people, you know, have to ship and have to actually take time to list it. So what what I've learned is that um, I'll do both routes. Like usually. If I want to have a movie collection or all the movie collections like the Kill Bill or the or the Matrix or the Lord of the Rings or the um like I said before the Jason or the um, Resident Evil, I will go and I'll buy random DVDs and usually that will help you to get about two or three or four of the actual movie collections and the rest you can go on eBay and just purchase individually. Like I want this specific, I want Bad Boys for Life, and so you can go online and buy that. Versus if you were gonna just buy DVDs randomly, you probably wouldn't find it find it or it would take a while to find it so to kind of help that out alleviate that um i just may buy randomly and once i have about two three movies or three two three movies in that collection i'll go ahead and go online and just the ebay and buy the buy the actual movie that will help me fulfill that collection so that's, so that's what i've been doing you know it, it's um like i said before it's interesting it's cheap i purchased i have three blu-ray players i have one in my basement right here behind me i have one in my living room upstairs, and then we also have one in, in our theater room. And I, I will say the most I paid for a Blu-ray player on Facebook Marketplace or offer up is probably about 20 bucks. The least is like 10 bucks because, again, these things, they're not popular anymore in the sense that companies are making hundreds of millions of dollars. They're not popular anymore. Now, they are coming back around, but for right now, it's a great time to get into physical media. Um, it, it, you know, it's a great time, and I've read articles that it's actually coming back around. But I don't think I don't think it will come back come back around the way the way it was in the beginning, only because media nowadays is just too easy to access, and you don't have to have this. Like you, I'll show you a video shortly of all my, um, all my all my books that I have at DVDs, and um, when I when I buy DVDs. 
we have 500 disc books, uh, I'm sorry, 500 page disc books, and we buy DVDs and we'll fill them up, and that's kind of what we've been doing. And as of right now, we, we have about four 500 um, page disc books, and we also have a, um, a little small one that we had at the beginning of our marriage. But um, now what I do is I'll, I'll buy DVDs, and um, once I fill up a book, I'll go on Amazon or eBay and order another 500 page disc book. I can just put them in there. It's a great time. It's, it's really a great time to, to get into physical media because you won't really break the bank and people don't really care. Like I actually bought a 500 page um, DVD Blu-ray disc book from somebody on Facebook Marketplace for like 20 bucks. He was like, yeah, I had it in my house for years. I don't really watch it anymore. And it has like all the great TV shows. It has all the, all because he was, I guess at the time when he was, when he was when he was in the DVDs, he was he was a, he was the collector. He has all the what was it? The guy who was a serial killer is that Dexter or De- I think Dexter? He has all the Bones seasons. He has like um, different a bunch of TV shows. Um, um, talking about seasons, all the seasons, you know. And I'm like, wow. So when I got, I was like, oh my goodness. I said, are you sure, sir? You only want twenty dollars for this? He was like, I don't like no more, man. I'm moving. Whatever. I don't care. I was like, oh my goodness. So you can definitely go. Again, go online and people and buy DVDs from people and or Blu-rays and you get it for dirt cheap. And I always tell people that don't don't get into like don't don't pay too much money for DVDs. Let's say somebody is selling Star Wars collection for like forty bucks. You can probably go on eBay and and, and buy the whole collection. Uh, meaning each individual disc for like. Two to, two to three bucks a, a disc. I recently did that. Um, I recently, I thought I had the whole Star, Star, Star Wars series, and some of them were in another language. And so when I put them in my in my Blu-ray player, my Blu-ray player wouldn't read them. So I had to end up trashing them. And I actually went on eBay and just bought the ones that I actually um that I had to trash. And it's like two three bucks a, a disc. And I mean, I got all the uh, the Luke with the new girl Ray and I got the whole series. All of them, even with the um, Spider-Man, um, the the ones from the early two thousands. Well, who, who was that guy? Um, I don't remember his name. Um, but the guy from the early early, early two thousands and the um, Mary, Mary Jane with the red hair from the early two thousands. They got all those those Spider Mans. The ones with the Goblin, and then I got the um, I got the I got the uh, new Spider Man movies. They got the Iron Man and the um, Captain America, Civil War, all that stuff for like little nothing, pennies on a dollar. So. That's just kind of what I kind of just wanted to kind of get into um, with the physical media. Um, I wanted to say again that it's a great time to get into it. Again, I want to kind of want to wanted to say that again. Just the reason behind me getting into physical media is because companies are now trying to retain your attention and your dollar, and it's it's, it's going to be forever. You know, it, it's not going to stop. You know, you 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 may watch The Mandalorian or whatever TV shows you, you like to watch on um, Disney or whatever TV shows, but you'll never be able to, to own those DVDs unless you actually go out. I'm sorry, you'll never be able to own those TV shows unless you actually go out and purchase them yourself. You'll never be able to own them. So five, ten years from now, when you want to actually watch it um, and Disney, you know, the platform may no longer, If I'm saying hypothetically, if it doesn't no longer exist, you'd have to actually go out and find it and rent it um, to some digital outlet store, and where you could just go and buy the buy the DVD yourself, and just have it. If you ever want to watch it again, you can watch it. I know for a lot of people out there, they may argue, "Well, I don't really watch movies uh, more than once." I was the same way. I thought the same thing. You know, I thought the same thing. But now, just having certain certain movies in my um in my portfolio, uh, movies that I never thought I would go back and watch again, I find myself going back and watching them over and over again. Me and my wife, a few weekends ago, we we watched Deliver Us from Eva. Which is a um, I I don't know if it came out in the late '90s or the early 2000s, but it has Gabrielle Union, LL Cool J, Making Good, but that's that was a, that was a classic, uh, breaking all the rules with um Jamie Fox and um Gabrielle Union. My point is, a lot of those are movies that I used to watch when I was a teenager. I'm in my mid 30s now, so it brings back so many great memories to be able to watch those movies with my wife, and we just. Like cutting up, like, oh man, this was this was a classic. Oh man, you know it was like, geez, man, like Constantine. I love this movie when it first came out. You know, it, it was like, man, it was like it was it was crazy. Like being able to being able to put in a DVD 
and watch the behind the scenes and watch the uh, some of the special features that they have where they have interviews and how they did this how they, how they did that you can't you, you you can't get that no more you know you you can't get it no more uh, really um from having a um watching a TV show now i know oftentimes what disney does is disney they will have like a behind the scenes or like a making of the, this specific TV show but that's not with all their TV shows so it's only with specific ones you know so again there from any any reviews i definitely think it's worth y- your time and effort to get into physical media if you're somebody that actually values being able to own something ownership that's something that i think you should definitely get into it's interesting one last one last uh, quick story and, and I'll, I'll i'll let you guys go but one of the things that um is interesting is a couple of years ago i remember when stadia google stadia came out well you guys don't, don't know what that is it's it's a uh, um google had a uh, had a um, gaming streaming platform like triple A's, you know, um, but it was streaming. Like you, you can own the, you paid full price, but you paid full price to essentially have the game be on their platform or, or on their server. And at the time, um, people, a lot of gamers online were like, "Man, this is this is madness." They they want us to pay. They want us to pay full price to rent a game. And um, one 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 guy was arguing that you know I, I don't mind paying fifty nine ninety nine because I understand you guys have to put the put the data on the disc and put the um, the image of the game on the disc and ship it out to stores. So I, I don't mind paying fifty nine ninety nine for that because I understand the process the process that goes into that. But I'm not paying fifty nine ninety nine for you guys to to put a game on your servers or your platform and I stream the game and play it from my house without actually owning the game. And at the time. I was one of the people that didn't understand. I'm like, what? It's not that big of a deal, man. It's just, you just, you know, because I was a casual gamer. I wasn't really um, somebody who was heavy in the game because at the time I just had, I just had two of my, my youngest kids back to back. So I didn't really have, plus it was also COVID as well. It was COVID. So I didn't really understand the argument that gamers were making. Fast forward to now that I'm, that I'm coming into physical media and I've kind of relinquished all my rights to these streaming platforms that meaning that I don't want to, I don't want to participate anymore in these um, streaming platforms, and if, and if they do have a show that I want to watch, I'll I'll subscribe for that duration, but then I'll cancel afterwards. Like right now, I'm watching Power Book is it Two with with Tyrese. I mean, well, I'm sorry, with, with with Tyreek, and so I'll subscribe, and when the show's over, I'll cancel. For the most part, there's only specific shows that I actually watch that I care to watch. The rest, I don't even fool with. It. Like years go by, I buy it on DVD and, and watch it then, but for the most part. Like I said, I just don't have I just don't have the time. But my point is is that at the time I didn't understand their argument. Like, what's the big deal? The big deal is this right here. You are paying a company full price for something they, they for something, a product they once had to put an image on, get get individual discs, ship them out to, to retail stores, you actually had to buy the discs and there were many steps in, into that whole ordeal. Why am I still paying you fifty nine ninety nine for a game I can just download off your store. That that doesn't make sense. And so what people are also realizing that you never own the game. Their argument three, four years ago was that I'm paying you full price for something I'll never own. You know, and um, now that Stadia, of course, Google has canceled that joint because Google cancels everything th- that it does. Stadia since then has came, came and gone. I understand, I, I understand their argument. And that's why I, I've kind of taken the approach that I have me and my family towards physical media. Now, am I saying that we don't watch anything on streaming platforms? Of course not. You know, I, I have Amazon, I have Amazon Prime videos that I have for paying for the Prime shipping, and so the Amazon videos, um, a- Amazon Prime is a is a is free. Well, not free, but you're basically paying f- pay for. But they tell you it's free when you get the shipping. And also, me and my wife, we also we, uh, we have our phone service with, with Cricket, and with Cricket, you have HBO Max for for free. Um, as long as you're with the cricket service, you you have HBO Max for free, so we um we have that for free as well. So we do have a few different streaming platforms, but again, I I couldn't tell you the last time I watched HBO Max, and I couldn't tell you the last time I watched um Prime videos. So uh, I just don't, I just don't have the time. So again, Dale from any any reviews, please comment, subscribe, like the video. I would definitely like to hear any of you guys have kind of going through the same thing or you want to you wanted to get into that kind that journey of physical media let me know you know hit me up comment um, i'll definitely get back to you 
and you know, because you may want some insight on how to kind of how to go about doing it or things like that. But until next time, peace. <laughs>